The Lagos State Government has installed a 3,000 kilometers of fiber metro network collection, connection rather, across the state within year 2020. Commissioner for Science and Technology Hakim Pham disclosed this during the 2021 Ministerial Press Briefing to commemorate the second year in office of Governor Babachide Sawolu led administration. Adedoja Salam Adeni reports. The implementation of the Smart City Project is to improve all-round governance and promote access to major stakeholders in the government. In a bid to develop technology-driven economy, the Commissioner for Science and Technology says the state government had announced a 250 million era seed fund to boost technological innovation and initiatives in demonstration of the state's commitment to developing Lagos into a 21st century digital economy and smart city. We're making sure that we close the digital divide in Lagos State. We're going to reach schools, we're going to re reach medical institutions, government agencies, private sectors, as well as the markets, because we want to make sure that we leverage the power of technology, the power of internet to communicate and do business. We will be working with different software ecosystems to, to solve major challenges across Lagos. Challenges in transport, in health, there are varying activities going on in the software development uh, space uh, that will be able to uh, give Lagos State a qualified workforce to build the smart city that we want to see. Health Ministry is next. In its account, the containment of COVID-19 first and second wave in the state helps to better prevent the looming third wave that is ravaging India and Brazil from entering Nigeria through Lagos. In addition to just carrying out the normal PCR test, we're, doing, we're developing the capacity to do the mutant PCR, which means it will not only pick up COVID, but it will be able to tell us which COVID, which of the mutations are circulating in the world that anybody who is positive for COVID is now carrying in Lagos State. This is very advanced technology. We are going to monitor inbound travelers to make sure that they are isolating according to the guidelines and that they come for their day seven test. We were ramping up our oxygen strategy to make sure that we are not caught flat-footed and that if we do go into a third wave and there's a high demand for oxygen, that we can meet that demand. On COVID-19 vaccination, about 260,000 residents have been vaccinated in the first phase of the campaign from the 88 centers in Lagos. As Lagos focuses on the containment of COVID-19, Akin Abayomi says other health programs are not neglected, including health infrastructures. Adidoja, Salam Adini, TVC News, Lego.